transmission of power from the turbine engines to the rotor takes place via the main rotor gearbox. Within the main rotor gearbox, the bevel gear shaft contributes to the reduction of speed and ensures drive of lubrication pumps. How is it made? steel used is vacuum remelted and heat treated, which provides for very good mechanical properties. In addition, preliminary material quality checks are carried out before any manufacturing begins. Each blank is identified by a batch number that ensures traceability of the raw material. A new generation of gear cutting machines is used to produce spiroconical teeth of high robustness and accuracy. Niche riding. This process is often repeated in order to improve the properties of the meshing surfaces, thus improving the life of the parts. The finished tolerance of the teeth is to a few microns, which provides a high quality of meshing, thus ensuring high reliability. Machining limitations require that all shaft bevel gears be made in two parts. The gear and vertical shafts are assembled by electron beam welding. This process is computer monitored and a fine focus control allows accurate positioning of the weld. The quality of the weld is checked by ultrasonic and radiographic methods. These measures assure a solid, high-quality, reinforced weld. Metallurgical inspections validate the integrity of the mechanical parts thanks to different non-destructive testing NDT steps. Each part has an individual serial number which ensures 100% of traceability. The material must be metallurgically pure with no impurities or surface defects permitted. The dimensional checks are carried out with a precision of one micron, 20 times smaller than a human hair. A final visual check is performed on all the parts before delivery to the assembly line. The shaft bevel gear is now assembled in the gearbox. Each assembly operation is validated by a quality inspector. At this stage, the individual serial number of each bevel gear is recorded in the logbook. To validate its operation and control of all parameters, such as temperature and oil pressure, each gearbox is tested on the test bench. It is then confirmed as good for flight. The gearbox is mated with the rotor hub and is then delivered to the assembly line. After multiple inspections, the aircraft leaves the assembly line for flight testing where the overall functioning of the aircraft is checked in an operational environment.